I would request Professor R. K. Mittal, Vice Chancellor, K. R. Mangalam University, Gurgaon. Dr. Pankaj Singh, uh, Director NIMS University and Mr. Paul from FISAT, Kerala. Good afternoon to one and all. I'm extremely happy to be before you once again. Uh, we have been discussing about improving quality, the need for it. And we have got very, very vital insights on this uh, particular area. As all of you know, education is more than reading, writing, and doing arithmetic. It is the most important investment a nation can make on people and their future. And uh, if you think out of the box or the traditional format or concept, you can know that education is the essence of whatever we do. We do what we know, whatever we have gathered from our in, I mean, education and all that. Education provides us the right school, right tools, the skills, the attitude, the opportunities to utilize the knowledge that we gain. And uh, there is a processing process that is to be done through education, whatever we gain through getting um, this learning process. In that way, it is the self-empowerment. It helps us to know our potential, our qualities, our latent talents, everything. So education has got a role to play. It needs improvement, as we have seen and heard from previous speakers. Business and the industry are the key drivers of any economy. And uh, the changes that are happening in this field are so phenomenal, so fundamental, that unless and until we are uh, equipping ourselves, redefining our strategies, we will not be anywhere. And we will be pushed down or at least pushed aside. That is the lessons that we have got from any, any industry. Even in the game of cricket also, when the format has changed from the series, test series and all that to 2020 format, we have to change the strategies, the bowlers have to change the strategies, batsmen have to change the strategies. It happens in every industry, in education also. The education also has undergone sea changes. And the challenges before any professional institution, B school, engineering school, it is not to produce a bunch of uh, people with the usual set of skills, but to create, mold, a new breed of uh, managers, technocrats, who can think differently, who can act differently, who can bring in new systems and procedures, who can innovate things for the new generation, new world. And education can never remain as a one-dimensional transfer of information in the classroom from the teacher to the students. It has to be a continuous process of redefining a multi-dimensional activity. It can never be a catwalk for the students or the cakewalk for the teachers anymore. As we have rightly heard, it should be a continuous redefining thing, experiential. It has to be differential. And uh, um, the thing that we have to bear in mind is that a lot many things can be done by the institutions. There are three stakeholders. That is the students, the teachers and the uh, institutions. And the last but the most important is the parents. And of course the teacher level, it has been rightly pointed out, one of our uh, lady speakers over here, we have to invest in the I mean, teachers. We have to rely on the teachers, the quality of the teacher. And we have to give the motivation, right kind of appreciation, right kind of monitoring also, that is to be there. We have to ensure that we get proper teachers, right kind of teachers, moldes. At the same time, we have to give, I mean, give the realm to the students also. Students are the people who are the consumers of the knowledge takers, rightly pointed out by one of our lady speakers from design school. She has been telling that what we have evolved for the consumers of the knowledge seekers, we have to. The education has to go beyond the realm of the classroom and the textbooks. It has to go beyond that. A lot of things are to be learned by doing it. And in our college, Federal Institute of Science and Technology, we have given ample opportunity for them to do the things by learning. 
I mean, sorry, uh, learn the things by doing. Incubation activity, lot of startup activities, entrepreneurial activities. It is not limited to education, I mean, limited to technology alone. Even in the field of uh, agriculture also, we have given them a lot of activity. Every activity that do, let the people know. The second, I think uh, you have a session on uh, the social branding or a branding of that part. And whatever you do, it should reach to the people. You are doing a lot of things. Our lady speaker, another lady speaker was telling that we do the things in a different way. If you are doing a thing in a different way, let the people know. Then comes the part of branding. Then you know, whatever thing the, that you do, a lot of incubating activities, a lot of uh, I mean, social outreach activities to the student, all those things should reach the people. Uh, people and there is a one uh, important tactics that you, you can adopt is uh, whatever program you do you give the title you get the captions in the print media with the name of the college suppose we take that uh, that particular star in there is national seminar in fisan national seminar on women empowerment in fisan it gives a lot of continuous branding in the minds of the people branding in a such a it gives confidence in the minds of the people about that institute also another thing is lot of activity should be done by infrastructure activity should be provided by the institution institution has a role to give maximum to the students that way you can provide we have got in our institution we have got super computers we have got well equipped labs we have got uh, all the amenities an engineer college should have whatever things you can even think of it and our students are given all the freedom to assemble computers and they are going for makers workshop and all that they go out, find out uh, problems and find out solutions for that leave the people to the society whatever things that you do related to the society's problem then you are ready for i mean taking the things to improving the quality the level of uh, education to be improved it has to relate to the society it has to uh, cater to the needs of the industry and make them relevant to the aspirations of the people and also they should be better human beings unless and until we have got value based education unless and until we are imparting values into the people our education will not i mean will not create its uh, its own real mission due to positive time i am uh, limiting at this point thank you thank you so much for giving me the time